Good afternoon, 47. Back Your destination Marrakesh. is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding Kay. his handover to Moroccan authorities. We He's going to be dead General in fact. Zedan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept. The Rabbit's and persuade government? the general staff to support a fully fledged military coup in the name of national security. Okay. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further. And okay, literally take riots. out his entire military. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The oh, we're the always very careful. <laughs> I will leave you to prepare. Active. We're always very careful <laughs> and research and know all of our stuff very well. Okay, um, Razor Sedan and Hugo, we've got one entrance, obviously. The Lamp Shop Alley! Well, we take the Pale Duck, obviously, always the Pale Duck. We take our Chrome Gun. Sure, we'll go in with a summer suit, why not? Professional. Like, I'm okay with doing the middle difficulty as the first thing. At least it isn't on the easiest, you know, I could probably do it on the hardest, but I'll take, you know, we'll do a professional playthrough. And then we can always come back for the hard mode, right? <laughs> there, that confirms that we've been playing on normal difficulty, essentially on all the others, not on the hardest, but not on easy as well. So, you know, we haven't been doing it easy mode, we've been doing it normal mode. We'll continue to do it normal mode. I can't believe <laughs> that elusive target. So long and so messy in to do it. But now that we're warmed up, we're not gonna be messy. This is gonna be a clean assassination of two targets. I mean, we're finding all the stuff Welcome that was probably the main level mission stuff. <laughs> the situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown. But the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Okay, so we need to be quick. <laughs> Before he causes riots. Wait, security guards don't mind us being in here. I already discovered there's something on the floor over here. I can see you have an eye for high quality How may I help you? Oh, I have an eye for tools. You can sell that pottery. Okay. I can doing well. Thanks for asking. Make it explosive. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school. Well, he was headmaster for 30 years. Yet he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that ah. the box. It doesn't seem to be able to park the damn thing. But now that's useful. For you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right. The, old the key to everything. The school they is <laughs> using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. Maybe that will be very useful. Oh, give your old man some credit, Marwin. It might surprise you yet. Anyway, I've got to run. See you around. Yep, I'm up and away. Don't mind me just trespassing 
into your dad's house where he's probably asleep to steal his key. That way he doesn't see us. And he's old. <laughs> In you go. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get away with looking like this guy because he's very old. Okay, we've got his key. A good job we got this wrench, isn't it? This was probably another way in. Can't hop the fence. No, it's not another way in. <laughs> okay, but if we get out of here without the sun seeing us. Not going to leave the balconies. We're all good. Like, the sun is going to be the major issue, isn't he? But he's not here anymore. Or is he? <laughs> yeah, he's in the shop. I mean, I can knock him out. Or I can just get out of there before he notices it. Sir, I allowed pass? Restricted area. Okay, got it. Sir, you heard him. Please leave the area. I'm leaving. <laughs> it's just that this guy's a problem. I, I'm just... <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just browsing these carpets. I'm just a hat on the hat stand. He will never see me here. It's, he didn't notice me. I was just a hat. It sounds hyper boring. I couldn't tell you possibly how to get there. Okay! <laughs> Success. I'm moving on. Someone just smashed something. Right. Let's <laughs> navigate the streets of Marrakesh. You're honored by my visit. Food cart. Telephone. We'll find a way through the security lockdown. I'm allowed here, right? Sir, you're gonna have to stop right there. Yeah, okay, not allowed in there. Good, got it, got it. But I'm allowed this way. More security lockdowns. <laughs> but we've got keys. But we can't open this building. <laughs> it's the main thing. We got a master key. Three samples of fish. My lad passed here. Hey, hey, how's it going? I mean, you sound like I'm okay. <laughs> but are you gonna suddenly have a go at me? No, good. <laughs> Can't tell sometimes it seems like more security lockdowns like this is a powder keg waiting to happen. Okay, there's a place you can seal an item. <laughs> we seem to be heading away from the place we were heading to. Okay, I mean, we're past the barrier. <laughs> he saw nothing! Turn around. I was almost home free. Once they get past you, I'm good. 
I just need you to turn around, sir. I realised we have coins that we can distract people with, and I haven't been using them. <laughs> turn around, come on. That shadow and drone. This isn't even good. Oh my god. <laughs> Is there even a way that I can hop this? No, it's got barbed wire. <laughs> this isn't even helpful. Oh, don't mind me. <laughs> Nothing to see that way. Right, let's get past the rioters. Before something goes wrong. You mean wankers? <laughs> okay, we can poison his drink to shut him up and maybe defuse the situation. None of that's helpful. Okay. We need to find a way! <laughs> time is of the essence. I'm feeling the time constraint. I realise we went miles from where we were supposed to be going. Right, we're back in the market. Maybe someone in the market has a disguise or something that we can get past the guards with. All we needed really from that guy was a key. We got a key. There's a guard, but he's too public. I'm gonna head towards snail soup. No thanks. Right, there's two guys on that corner. Is this? Printing schedule? The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African Liberation Movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands, which of course is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks. Okay. So, anyone wearing the COVID masks? Ooh, that guy just... walked in a place that was... compromising to him. You need clearance to pass. You don't have it, buddy, so... Uh... I know, I know. That guy's got a bit too much attention. Yeah, it was him. It wasn't me. Him. You're not even going to investigate the leak. <laughs> I'm... Right, there's a box here. Ooh, he turned round. What the hell? Come here, man. Fifty four meters that way. No target killed.
I didn't kill anyone. He's unconscious. Who killed someone? Because <laughs> I didn't. I wonder if he's in this box. <laughs> I wonder if he's in the bin. I didn't kill anyone. So that's suspicious, because I didn't kill anyone. And you found a third machine gun. Where did you get that third machine gun from? <laughs> Because you still got yours. Be quick. Situation will investigate. Be quick. No way you saw me. No way you saw me. <laughs> Whatever, we're in. <laughs> Is it? As usual, the flawless hit manning has been performed. <laughs> you need to die. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you absolutely need to die. Okay, there's our target. Just need to find our way up without getting seen. <laughs> Toy tank unsuspiciously through the window. He graduated from West Point. La -di da da. Flying colors and all. But has he seen actual combat? Hard with a pair of pliers. That's all he really is. <laughs> You're not wrong, that's for sure. I tell you, I don't care what anyone says, that Zayden's not always cracked up to be. He likes to pretend that he's solid or something, but he's just a guy with a shiny uniform and an ego to match. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. <laughs> that's gonna annoy him. Right, good. It's not like Zane is even a lead from the front kind of guy, you know? I mean, uh, he graduated from West Point, Lottie Dad. You're coming down? That is General Reza Zaydan, keeper of the peace. I noticed that. <laughs>
How did he fall down the stairs and die? Clear. Please advise. Over. <gasps> what? <laughs> he lived? <laughs> I must have missed his head. This is bullshit. There's nothing going on out here. I'm coming home. I'm out. <laughs> How do you put it when you Minds. <laughs> I would rather you didn't shoot me. <laughs> How do they know where I am through walls? Someone killed the general. Command, you copy? Target down. Move on to Klaus Strand. Wasn't me. <laughs> this guy. He really thinks he's getting away. He does. And he is getting away. <laughs> You know what? That guy sees nothing. <laughs> you see nothing. Nothing you see. Okay, we are killing a lot more people than we should. Sir, I'm afraid you don't have the right clearance. Sorry. I know. Right, Hugo Strandsberg. Right, we killed Zidane before the riots happened. It was a big mess. But we did it. <laughs> what is that on the roof? There's some on the roof that's interesting up there. Okay, we need another outfit. Absolutely. And we need to find a way into this other situation. Which I couldn't quite see. Three samples? Okay, we can poison all of the food for whatever reason. I don't know why we would want to, but we could. And let's hope we don't need one of their security outfits. Because <laughs> I feel like they are heavily compromised. Is this a way in? The sewers? Perhaps not. But! I'm behind the barrier. I might just be able to sneak in. Back this way. As long as it doesn't need a key card. <laughs> oh, come on. You could hop this fence. I could hop this fence. It's not even got barbed wire on it. Not even got barbed wire on it. Okay, who's got the key cards? How do I get it? Okay, we're no longer trespassing. <laughs> we're just in the roads. The 
if I set anything off out here, it's going to um, absolutely start a riot. We're trying to avoid that. How do I get in here? People with masks might be away? Okay, let's take the crowbar. Okay, good, there's a way in. Without <laughs> dragging attention to ourselves. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Without drawing too much attention to myself. <laughs> Because we are already compromised, and if we are one of them, that would already be trouble. Mission story missed. It's fine. That guy's just doing tires. Is there anyone else this way? in the winds. Don't you stupid agent 47. <laughs> or are you cleverer than I know? Intruder! Intruder! It's a good job they don't listen to this guy, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good job nobody listens to him. Otherwise we might be in trouble. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've killed a lot already. I might as well kill you. <laughs> oh. Hit man. Okay, it is compromised, but it's not compromised in here. Ooh. A key cards. I think we're okay in here. Poison. That is a place that we could hide a body. Okay, so he wasn't even in that room, so I was worried about nothing. I kind of don't want to be seen on camera. <laughs> but at the same time, that guard can identify me. No one can see a thing. Okay, I don't think that's a um, mission thing. Staircase? Good. It's gonna take everything that we can. Apart from fire extinguishers, because, you know, we might need them. 
the, the consulate seems safe enough, apart from this guy that's over there, but I'm sure he won't notice us. He's the only corridor in. <laughs> Didn't come this way. <laughs> ah, this is actually better. I don't even need to go past him. That, that's trespassing. There a place to hide a body? There is. Hey, hey, you can't do what hey, you can, hey, what did you do that for? Fuck me. <laughs> Every time. time we get anywhere <laughs> he notices it up through a wall <laughs> oh no there's a man in a box through this wall I can smell him scatters too many people can smell us through this wall he's pointing that He's shooting! They're all shooting through walls! Because they are... cheating! Dirty cheats. You absolute dirty cheats! <laughs> absolute dirty cheats. Absolute dirty Jesus! <laughs> oh, he, he's in this box and I can smell him through this wall. I did the Hitman vision as well to look through the um, things and it was like, nope, nobody's here. I will all of a sudden drag in a body and then someone's at the door. Dirty Jesus. <laughs> Absolutely dirty Jesus. I don't mind loading into this because they were dirty cheaters. This particular uniform should get you access through the staff entrance. Just act normal. Something tells me this is not. <laughs> The gilded cage that's 959. There we go. <laughs> it tells me that's not quite our mission. I thought that was loading this one, but I was wrong. <laughs> Something tells me that this might not quite be right. Yeah, that was absolute dirty cheaters. Like, that lady smelt us through a wall. All the security guards could see us through a wall and inside that box. How? What is special about that box that everyone can smell us? <laughs> Did we forget our antiperspirants and we really smelt that badly that they could echolocate us through walls and shoot us? Because otherwise, I don't know how the heck they all knew exactly where we were through walls. Something smells for she. <laughs> it was Hitman, Agent 47. He smelled the fishiest of them all. I do like that there's a, another card on the table if you need it. <laughs> Pardon me. Let's get out of there before he notices you. Yeah. Zayden wanted it harsh and loud. The case ran 
Petersburg's breakout wasn't enough to drive yeah. public outrage. Harsh and loud. Just the way we do it. Also, we punched that guy and he should not have been, you know, that was stealthy. Get this off our back. Because <laughs> that's going to be problematic, right? There's going to be a guy coming up the stairs. Don't get the fire alarm. Right, guy is in the break room. You can't identify us, but he can. He turns around. Of course he I mean, it's not the outfit I planned. I'll take it. <laughs> it's not the best up. It... But I'll take it. So, our guy's upstairs, so we're gonna see if we can't get upstairs as the waiter. Am I trespassing as a waiter? No? Good. Afternoon. Obviously not the greatest, but they would be able to identify their own, right? So, this might be better. There's our guy. There's a couple of people who can identify him. <laughs> okay, we weren't in range to throw that, sadly. He's a little too guarded. They saw nothing. God damn it, you've got in my way. They're not searching for me. You know, I can use the stairs. <laughs> I can calmly use the main stairs. I work here. They're not looking for me. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. It's an alarm telling us to leave. And I am leaving. Because the alarm tells us to. Okay. Now, I don't know if I should go out the main gate. I'm gonna pop the fence. <laughs> He's very agile. Okay. We did it! <laughs> Messily, very messily, but we did it. Now, this is a propaganda person. Well, not that we would be able to take any of them <laughs> because they're in the crowd, but they're the propaganda spreaders. Don't mind me just evacuating as they told us to.
They seem mad at their colleague. That was probably another mission. Wait, the music's getting loud. <laughs> yeah, this one didn't go so well. <laughs> ah. I... Cleaver? That's a pretty spicy weapon. Next hit over here. Back alleys. <laughs> Could have gone way better. Definitely could have gone way better. Very best. <laughs> okay, that was a drowning one. Back to school. Open sesame, the banker, the general. Okay, we did a few things. Ten thousands, but then we lost a lot for killing people. <laughs> Fifteen thousand, I'll take it. Flexible murderer. One of eight mission stories. Four of one hundred forty-one challenges. Too big to fail. Proximity explosives. Ooh. Sounds nice. 